This series is Younger Brother Approved with a couple of content warnings. Uh, first of all, the death animation for this game is slightly disturbing to look at. So if you notice I'm about to die, you might want to look away. Um, it's not particularly common in the beginning of the game, but becomes increasingly common starting in around the third area as the game decides to rapidly ramp up in difficulty to become frustratingly difficult. Uh, the second content warning is for a swear word uh, that appears in an achievement name uh, that is awarded for defeating the fourth boss of the game. So afterwards I defeat the lizard swordsman guy, there will be a pop-up in the lower right hand corner that contains a swear word. If you do not want to see it, do not look at it. Um, I can't edit it out in post. I don't have editing software that can handle that particularly well. So I'm just not going to touch it. Um, and the third content warning is that I do not know how this game ends. I have not beaten this game as of yet. Uh, I do not have plans to beat this game in the near future. I, I don't plan to play this game basically for the next month or so, I'm taking a break. Uh, the final the final episode of this Let's Play as it is right now is me breaking down into tears, and I just, I'm done with it. I don't want to do any more. Uh, I'll probably come back and finish it at some point, because I'm stubborn, and I hate not having finished it, but I really don't like this game at this point. So I'm probably not going to do that in the near future, especially with a bunch of games I'm actually looking forward to coming out soon, because for one thing, I bought a ton of games during the Steam sale, uh, so I have a ton of games to play. And then Monster Hunter Worlds for PC is coming out soon, and Pokemon Let's Go Eevee's coming out soon, and Smash Bros. is coming out soon, so I think I'm going to have a lot of better games to play that I'm just not going to want to come back to this one for a while. Uh, so I don't know how this game ends, and thus I have a general content warning of, I don't know, maybe the maybe the Indians really messed up, but I'm just not aware of it. Um, I don't think very many people would see my playthrough and go, oh, this looks like a great game, I'm going to go out and buy it, but maybe somebody would, and it might not be age appropriate for everyone. I don't know how it ends. I, I definitely don't recommend it for young children. It's frustratingly hard. It your, your child will almost certainly have a temper tantrum playing this game. It's brutally hard, and it's completely unfair. <laughs> um, so yeah, those, those are the content warnings uh, that this game's getting. The series is currently Younger Brother approved with those small caveats, and I hope you all enjoy the train wreck of a series that is me being super excited for a game uh, and then just slowly over time realizing that it sucks. Uh. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's that's the series. Uh. <laughs> oh man. Welcome back to another episode of Subpar Plays Chronicles of Teddy. Uh, last time we made it through the fourth temple, uh, and now we are with, at what appears to be the fourth boss chamber. So we'll see what this is like.
So I'm not sure how to get this guy. It looks like I'm supposed to get the drop on him somehow using this upper path. Because his shield seems to block basically everything. This is frustrating. Got hit in somehow. All right, we need to learn over here. attack pattern. I die. I'm gonna die. This freaking... Ugh.
Alright, so let's go buy another one of them gems because this boss is gonna be a pain. Alright. So this boss's gimmick is that he's got a shield that blocks basically everything. But you can get past it during some of his animations. And if you manage to hit him, he tries to turtle up, which will give you an opportunity to get a good hit on his shield, which will uh, give you a chance to break it, I think. I think that's what we're really going for, is we want to break a shield. But unfortunately... He has a bunch of basically undodgeable attacks. Uh, touching him hurts you, so it's hard to get close enough to do damage to him. Like, he has a long sword, but I have a tiny dagger. And, uh. That's a bit of a problem. Freaking fire slimes. What else is the problem? Is since there's no like save point right by the boss, you have to retraverse all of the enemies in the first four rooms to reach him. So the game just just trying to take away as much HP as it can before the boss fight. This is where the non-linearness of this dungeon becomes a huge pain in the butt.
Okay, we got a decent amount of HP. this time. I forgot what freaking animation he's vulnerable for. Okay, right, when he raises a sword. this rocks fall crap. Raise your sword. This is crap. <laughs> so the boss has basically a bunch of almost impossible dodge attacks and complete control over whether or not he becomes vulnerable. Come on, swing your sword at me again. Please swing your sword at me again. Come on.
That boss isn't very fair at all. But it's a lot more manageable than the other third boss. At least this boss, it's like, oh. We just have to figure out how to hurt him. But the way you hurt him is consistent throughout the boss fight. Though I imagine somebody could have been frustrated poking him and causing him to retreat and turtle up and thinking that if they made him turtle up enough times he'd eventually take enough damage to die. But like it's pretty obvious that the way you're supposed to get that guy is death from above. Um, so it's not quite as giant as the third boss when they're all like change tactics. Okay, we did it. We got we got all four of the uh, egg things, and I think we got enough money that we can get an extra HP thing. And we can get a replacement for this diamond thing. It lets us not explode when we die. Which is good, because I don't like seeing the death animation. It's kind of gross. I should probably just invest my money in that gold coin. Just in case. Like, I, I don't have any other reason to hold on to this money. So I might as well just put it here. And we're going to call that a stopping point for this episode. I will see you all in the next episode.